Why did 300,000 Houstonians take time out of work and school to line the streets of Houston? Hey, I'm Colleen Fell, and welcome to this Forgotten Day in Houston, presented by Greenwood King Properties, a place to find your home. In this episode, we're looking back to the day President John F. Kennedy stood at a podium at Rice Stadium to tell the nation that the U.S. was headed for the moon. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. In mid-September 1962, President Kennedy arrived at Houston's International Airport, now better known as Hobby Airport. During a brief welcome ceremony, Kennedy was greeted by Houston Mayor Louis Kuchar, while Congressman Albert Thomas and Vice President Lyndon Johnson listened. Kennedy's arrival in Houston was so highly anticipated that City Council declared a half holiday in Houston so that city employees could have a chance to see the president and vice president. Kennedy's motorcade route from the airport to his hotel was published in the Chronicle, complete with a number of good vantage points which included spots along the Gulf Freeway and on Travis Street. When the president arrived at Rice Hotel, he walked from his limo to the entrance on a carpet of flowers courtesy of Allied Florists of Houston. A chef, two room captains, and three maids were assigned to Kennedy's room. The next day, Kennedy made his way to Rice Stadium, and along the way, his motorcade passed under a large Welcome President Kennedy sign. He also cruised past Foley's where he waved to onlookers from the back seat of his convertible. An estimated crowd of 35 to 45,000 people greeted Kennedy when he entered Rice Stadium to deliver his speech. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. During his remarks, Kennedy also declared that Houston would become the heart of a large scientific and engineering community, saying what was once the furthest outpost on the old frontier of the West will be the furthest outpost on the new frontier of science and space. Greenwood King knows Houston history and the nuances of each neighborhood. If you're looking for a place to find your home, visit one of their three convenient office locations in the Houston area. You can also go to greenwoodking.com where you'll discover the exciting possibilities waiting for you in your new community. I'm Colleen Fell and thanks for watching.